Hello and welcome to Simple RV Cooking with Melissa. And here's my lovely daughter, Ashley. Oh, she's so beautiful. I love you. She's going to go do her um, her schoolwork. She's homeschooled, um, you know, because we're full-time RVers. And um, so she's going to go down and do her work at the rec center. She's such a good little disciplined daughter. So have fun. I love you. And I'll have you some homemade kefir when you get home. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. Be careful. I love you. Um, so we're going to make homemade kefir soda. And um, a friend of mine, I want to give her a shout out, McKenna Woolley. She's also um, a full-time RVer. And she does um, a lot of nutrition stuff. So you might want to go on Instagram and look her up. She's wonderful. Um, and she's helped me try to get healthy and so far I'm doing really good I'm walking every morning for at least a mile to two miles a day now um, <clears throat> and I've learned how to make my own kefir through her and um, it's very simple you just need to have the the ingredients it's not hard at all um, and it's refreshing it's kind of like a carbonated soda like but it's really didn't have any soda in it <laughs> it's got it's got juice sugar water and then of course uh, what they call the water grains um, and I did find out the water grains how you have to do it is you go online and they have if you just look up uh, real kefir uh, to make your own homemade kefir it'll give you different ones and there was one on there uh, called real kefir and it's k-e-f-i-r and um, it's like a bag and it's only like I don't know 10 to 16 dollars and you don't need a whole lot you just need just a little bit to get started and it'll teach you you know how to get your little your uh, kefir um, your water kefir started and uh, your grain excuse me and um, so how, what you do is you just get that started you have a little bit of grains and then the grains will eventually just grow is how it works and what's really good let me explain to you why kefir is so good for you not only is it refreshing it's better than having a soda okay um, you it's good for your gut uh, it's probiotics it's a natural probiotic instead of buying them in the peel which um, are probably synthetic most of them are so you're not really getting all the nutrition that you need in a probiotic where this is natural natural probiotic hallelujah 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 so you can make it yourself so that's what we're going to do today and i just want to give a shout out to everybody before we start thank you so much i have almost 230 subscribers so we're almost 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 <laughs> at um 300 i want to be at 300 by friday so if you love this video please subscribe and share with all your friends so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to start the kefir so this is one that I've already had um, pretty much started and this is one that was fermented because you want to ferment okay so that's how you get this going and what you're going to first start do is you're going to take you want to take a hot hot water okay one cup of hot hot water and do four tablespoons of, of sugar and that's what makes the sugar water helps feed on the grain that makes it good pro probiotics for your belly okay so what you do is if you notice here I don't use just regular white sugar this is like a cane or you can use organic whatever you know you prefer or what you can afford <laughs> just saying and um so what we're going to do is I took four tablespoons, okay, because you want a tablespoon for each cup of water, and you're going to use four cups of water um, in your jars. And I do the, you want to do glass jars, no plastic. So you want jar, a uh, glass, and I use just these mason jars, and, um, and then, you know, because they have it sealed tight on the top, that's what you want. Um, and so you you can get four cups of water in here, so it's awesome. So after you dissolve all of the um, the sugar, okay, 
into your water. Then uh, you want to put some ice in there or let it settle until it gets cold. You never want to add hot or warm water to the um, to the grains because then it won't work. It'll just, they'll die, they'll die, they'll die, 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 die. So you don't want that, okay? And um, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, what you're going to do is, what I did here is I went ahead and started one a couple of days ago, and it has the minerals in it. So you just keep using those minerals over and over again. And the more you use them, the more your, um, your kefir gets better and better. Now, listen, when you pop this... <laughs> It can explode, so be very careful because, you know, it is carbonated. Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one I have really tight. <laughs> and I have arthritis in my hands. <laughs> okay, that's going to look funny on video. <laughs> All right, hold on just a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to have my husband open up this one because it was tight. Okay, now... And then what you're going to want to do, now listen, it's going to smell a little funny, like a soury, um, but that's what you want. The more stinky, the better. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take a, another uh, one of your glass things and jars and you want to put some juice in it. And you can do organic, which I do, 100% organic juice, um, just something that doesn't have a lot of sugar. I mean, juice is, sorry, I, I had to run all the way outside and find him. <laughs> That's why I'm breathing hard. But, yeah, so you want to do that. Um, so let me show you the juice that I'm using. Okay, so I'm using organic, 100%. Um, see, can you see it? There we go. Cran, cran, uh, cranberry grape. And so, you know, just use something. You might have to spend a couple extra dollars, but this is going to last you a long time. Because you don't put a whole lot in there. What is up with these? You know what? We're in high altitude. I keep forgetting. So like when you put something on tight, it like, it's locked on there, baby. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is kind of show you what I do. So I'm just going to, I just eyeball it. You know, you know me. So about right there. You don't want more than that. That's perfect. And I'd say about like that, like almost an inch, about an inch. And that's all you want. That's all you need. That's all you need. Hey, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. Hey, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. Hey, Mambo. Mambo Italiano. I'm making my own keeper. Hallelujah. Okay. I don't know. All right. Now, what you're going to do, let me put the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you're going to take your strainer, I mean your, um, your funnel, and then, and you might want to get all this just for your, when you make your kefir soda. I wouldn't get it and just use it for anything. Now, this one is all I could find right now. It is a, a wire um, strainer, but you really need, like, the synthetic, like, the black, the, excuse me, the plastic kind, the, you know, because it will, this will eventually break down the, um, the, the minerals, the grains. So it's better to use the, the plastic kind, but I don't have that right now. So you're going to strain this, can you see that, hold on, so you're going to strain it into your jar, there we go, like so, okay, and then you're going to have some of the grains left over, and what I'm going to do, hold on just a second, okay, so then you can, um, and then you strain the grains, because you want to keep those, because you're going to use them in your next kefir bottle and it they get bigger and bigger it's crazy how big these things are so see how you've done that you've got your jar see so it's all ready to go so what you're going to do is you're going to seal it seal it like that see look how pretty that is look how pretty and then you're going to go put it in your um pantry um it depends on um Really, I guess the I do it for two days, even though that it's it's hot. It's the summertime, and it seems to do fine. Some people say to do it a little less because if it's too hot, it, it'll be done a lot faster. But I do it for two days, and it's fine. So I do two days, 
in in the pantry put it away hide it away hide it away yeah yeah yeah, yeah. then your sugar water is ready for your next batch because now you've got all those minerals so you gotta do something with them okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take you your clean little jar again you're gonna put in your minerals Whoops. then you're going to pour in your sugar water okay like so Sugar, da na 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 na. Oh, honey, honey. Ooh, I love my sugar water, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, and then you're going to add, that was a cup, so you're going to add three more cups of cold water, okay? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're adding four cups of cold water. Actually, I would say that's probably almost four cups it's just a little bit left over but almost right at four cups you don't want it to you don't want to get it too high like way up here you don't want to do that you want to go down here because you got to remember too you got to add your juice once it's fermented you got to add that juice to get it going you know so then you're gonna whoa did you hear that bang <laughs> that was on my kefir that came out of the refrigerator Ooh. okay so there you go. So then you've got it all ready to go. So this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. <laughs> so you're going to stick this into the, um, to your, uh, hello, your cabinet for two days. Then you're going to take it out and you're going to do that juice thing. Put the juice in, put the water back in, and put it back in the cabinet for two days. Okay. Then after that, after you've got your two days and two days then you'll have this okay so then this goes into the refrigerator for two days and then you can drink it oh put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up oh and by the way you don't have to use just like juice like regular 100% juice you can do fresh fruit lemons limes whatever you want to do okay so that will work and then here is one that just came out of the fridge so we did two days and two days and then two days in the fridge and we're done. So what? Two, two, two is what? Six days. So you keep it going, you see? I'm looking for my little thing you do. Oh, there we go. This thing's my best friend, by the way. So you definitely want to do that um, because, you know, kefir's not expensive. It's, it's very expensive if you go into the store and just buy a jar where you can keep this going and it's not costing you much money. So if you're a full-time RVer like me, you definitely want to make your own and it's refreshing. So I love it. Now, oh, that opened up easy. <laughs> Hope it's okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Because it did that little pop. <laughs> Pop, pop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. What am I stepping on? Okay, so let me grab um, some ice, and I'll show you how refreshing this drink is. I love it. Okay, so I got a cup of ice. And then you just pour it up, like so. Ooh, yeah. And it's yummy, yummy. Oh, yeah. And you can tell. It might have a little bit of a... Um, vinegar taste but that's good because it means it's fermented the little bubbles are good for your belly and it's all good it's good for your gut good for your soul and uh and you can make it homemade you don't have to go buy it i mean why do that and if you're a full-time rver like me you know it gives you a project and it's fun <laughs> it's so fun and you know what else you could do would it be a cute little idea? You could either do it in one of these or get another little cute little jar and put a little ribbon around it and give it to some of your friends that you meet in the park. Or, you know, if you're at home and you want to give somebody a nice little, you know, you're going to their home for a party or something like that, you could be like, here, I made you some homemade kefir. And they'll be like, what? What? <laughs> so there you go. So try you some of your own homemade kefir soda they call it you know because it's got the bubbles in it but it's really not having any soda it's good for you so good for the soul so 
Remember, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the ding ding button so you can get all my notifications on my videos. Don't forget I have an Instagram and I also have a Facebook page. Go like those, follow those, and I love you and I'll see you next time. And mom, here you go. She wanted me to do this video for her with homemade kefir, so um, I hope you use this uh, recipe. I love you, mom. I love everybody. Be kind. Take care.